Hi guys, welcome. Danny here from the Magic Junk Drawer and we're in Studio 2. <laughs> so I wanted to talk today about the evil eye. The evil eye, um, I don't remember if I've ever done a video about this, but I recently just made a, a candle for a friend of mine. I made one for him and one for his sister because he feels like there could be some negativity affecting them. So here's the thing. If you believe that somebody can give you the evil eye and centuries and centuries and centuries of people have believed this and it's not just one culture every culture like uh, when I studied Kabbalah we wore the red string the red string the rabbi did the prayer it was to banish the evil eye um, on my front door I have a big blue eye which I believe is Turkish I also used to have a ring that was all evil eyes it was all eyes and it was Greek my grandmother gave it to me it was Greek um, the Italians we always wore the Italian pepper some people call it the Italian horn it's to ward off the Maliocchio the evil eye um, the eye of Horus um, what else I, basically, I think everybody believes that this is something, that people could wish evil on you and that you could really pick up on it. So if you believe that somebody can wish you evil, then you have to believe that I can wish you well. Can't work one way. So anyway, so this is what I did for him. Like this, and I'm going to show you. This is just a plain black candle, and I got it at ShopRite. They're like $1.50. They're not very expensive. There's always a layer of dust on the top because I don't think anybody buys them but me. I go in there and I buy like 50. The guy looks at me like I'm nuts. But um, yeah, this is like so old. It's like the dust here is bubbling. Like it's just like really old. But whatever, it's, it's fine. So basically what I did was in theirs. I just gave him his. I took, take something sharp and clockwise you make holes in it seven I you know I like the number seven for um clockwise because your protection you're bringing yourself protection rather than if it's something like if you were hexing someone and you wanted to send them away then you would do it counterclockwise but we're going to do this clockwise I'm just using an incense stick you know me you use whatever you have and you keep it simple And you know I don't like to use too much oil because it can affect the wick and the oil that I chose was and you can use you can use High John the Conqueror this is dragon's blood when you think of dragon's blood you think of it slays the dragon this dragon's blood will protect you from harm evil the evil eye somebody is wishing you evil and you use black because black is protective it banishes evil there and I didn't I don't even have that much of it left you just use what you have and then a little bit of cinnamon because cinnamon is for good luck it's also for money it could also be for love a little bit of glitter because you know that I think that glitter makes everything more fun And cloves seven cloves and you know I just stick them in so I was telling him my friend that I just went to meet of course I dropped half of them on the floor I'm kind of a klutz um stories from the AMP I may do a whole series on stories from the AMP because I mean we've got stories like nobody would believe you know what you don't understand until you work in a grocery store what really goes on but um, there was one woman, we're going to call her Molly for the sake of the video, who, I'm not kidding you, you couldn't make this shit up, what happened to Molly. If you've ever seen the movie Splash, Tom Hanks has that secretary that keeps getting struck by lightning. That was like this woman. This woman could not get out of her own way to save her, her, her life. She just, she just couldn't. So, um... And she was an older woman, and when I say older, I mean older as in like um, 
grocery store standards. Like she was maybe in her mid to late forties at this time that she was working with us. But you know, most of the people that we worked with were like 16 through like 20. So she was older and I can't even tell you what went on. Like she comes in one day and she's got like a bandage around her head, like a mummy. Like it's like wrapped up like a crazy mummy. She rolled out of bed. She banged her head on the nightstand and she had to go get stitches. A grown woman. I mean, she was like in her 40s. I mean, my brother did that when he was three. <laughs> but these things really happened to her. She really had stitches in her head. One time she comes in her apartment and it, she didn't even have an apartment. I think she rented a room in somebody's house. Well, her, her apartment was on fire and the firemen had to come. Another time she's getting off the bus to come to work and she cracks her ankle and she's walking with crutches. Another time she's walking from the bus stop to the store and a tree branch falls off the tree and hits her in the head. But every time something happened, she would always reiterate to the universe that this is my luck. This always happens to me. Oh, with my luck, with my luck. She goes up to the bathroom, she drops her cell phone in the toilet. I mean, how much bad luck can one person have? Eventually, bad luck's got to run out, right? But she believed so strongly that bad things were going to happen to her, that bad things kept happening. It was almost like she was calling them into her, on herself. How is a random tree branch falls off of a tree on a main road and clocks her in the head? I mean, how does this happen? And they, it really happened. I mean, this woman standing in front of me with these real injuries, she wasn't lying and she wasn't calling in sick and not coming to work. She was coming to work. She's just coming to work crazy. She had some kind of a sling at one point. I mean, it was always something. And it kind of became a joke with us at the store. You know, don't be like Molly because if, if whenever somebody would say something, we would be like, don't say that. Don't wish it on yourself. So think about it. If she has the power to bring these things into her life, well, then she has the power to change it. And, you know, you just have to change your thinking, but it's a constant process because they say that you have between 60 and 75,000 thoughts a day. Of those thoughts, how many of them are positive? How many of them are negative? I am extremely sarcastic and sarcasm is usually negative. So I have to be careful with the things that I think because I don't want to bring these things to me. You, know, you really have to be careful sometimes. But if you believe that somebody is wishing you evil and you believe that you're taking in their negativity, well, then you have to believe that there is a way that you can repel it. Light the black candle. Light a black candle every day for the rest of your life. It's not going to cost much and psychologically it could help you. All right, guys, if you like what we're doing here at the Magic Jungle, don't forget to like and subscribe and share us with your friends. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you soon. Bye-bye.